Hey guys, this is Jesse P, aka The Tiny Whoop, and I've been getting a ton of requests for a build video about The Tiny Whoop. I think it's a little bit silly because it's the easiest build any of you have ever done in your life, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do one. So, it's, you start with a quad that looks something like this. This one's actually already got the upgraded motors, but um, I'm still going to show you every step of the way. Uh, so the first step is to take the props off and remove the old motors. I like to use this tool to remove the old props, and I kind of get it under here and gently squeeze it so that it'll pull these props out. Next, we're going to take the motor off. You got to be real careful not to push on this tip because the bottom of the motor will pop off and then it's useless, you can't get it back on. So you can see I'm grabbing it up here with my little dirty fingernails and shoving it from the bottom of the motor. Next step, you just slide in the new motors. As you can see, this is the back of the quad. Here's the way the motors go. So that's the red and blue wires in the front right and the rear left, black and white in the front left and the rear right. And at this point, pretty much all we have to do is put the Quantum Elite FPV combo on there. Here's the camera. I'm going to be putting the camera right about here. Oh, first I'm going to decase the camera. This is never easy. So I just kind of cut my way into it because I've never been able to slide it off. Someone did though, so maybe you can figure it out. I'm just going to go on here about like this with a slight angle. So this wire only needs to be this long. Some people like to put the camera out here like you guys saw on flight test. That's cool. I just like to see the ducks in my view because uh, it makes me and everybody who watches the videos feel like they're on board. So I'm going to cut the wires as short as possible because every little milligram really counts. <clears throat> now make sure that you get it on there right. White goes to red, that's the positive, and of course black to black. Next you need a piece of VHB. This is the first part that I use to stick the camera down. You guys can really do this part however you want. Next I just use one of these little tiny I think it's a dental rubber band, and just do a little bit of this. And then I also always focus the lens myself because it's never quite perfect. And that is how you build a tiny wolf.